Let us start with a simple example on the disturbance of the medium. In this figure, it shows the snapshot of a pulp wave moving on a string. A hand moves at the end of a set spin up and down here. <clears throat> Generate a pulp to travel along the stress string. Okay, if you move your hand up and down in a short time, you generate a pulp that move along the string. In this case, you can see that the hand is the uh, give the disturbance to the medium, which is the string in this case. And this disturbance cause the motion of the medium. That is, if this is a pulp, that the medium move up like this. And this disturbance move along the string. And this is a kind of wave motion. You do the disturbance to the medium, and this disturbance propagate through the medium. Now, if we look at a particular point on the medium, for example, this point P. We can see that when the pole move past the point P, the point P will move up in the perpendicular direction to the motion of the pole. In this case, we say that the pole is uh, transferred the transferred uh, power in the sense that the motion of the medium the motion of the medium is perpendicular to the motion of the power this is uh, an example of the disturbance of the medium and the propagation of the disturbance We can also disturb the medium in a different way. In this figure, if you have a long spring like this, and now you disturb the medium, in this case, it's the spring, by moving your hand back and forth in the parallel direction to the line of the spring. And when you disturb the medium, the spring will uh, change the configuration. The pulp that you create will move along the spring. Make some part of the spring compressed like this, and some uh, this compression move as a pulp along the spring. In this case, you can see that the motion of the medium uh, is in the parallel direction to the motion of the power. And in this case, we call the power as a longitudinal power. A longitudinal power in the sense that the motion of the medium is in the same direction as the motion of the pole. And this is another, uh, this is the, the other uh, example of the propagation of the disturbance uh, on the medium. 
we can also have the more complicated disturbance of the medium. For example, in this figure show the propagation of the surface wave on the water surface. The medium or the element at the surface move in nearly circular path. It means that each point on the surface is displaced both horizontal and vertically, both horizontally and uh, vertically form its equilibrium position. The equilibrium position is the position of the medium when there is no disturbance move past that point. Okay. So, in this case, the disturbance is both uh, transfer and longitudinal. We have the wave of with both transverse and longitudinal motion of the medium. So this is quite complicated uh, wave. However, in our introductory course now, we will separately uh, discuss the transverse and longitudinal wave. The example so far uh, represents uh, an, a kind of wave that we can we call it the mechanical wave. The, me the mechanical wave. The me in the mechanical wave, we have the source of the disturbance. And this this disturbance propagate along the medium. For example, the medium is a string when we generate the transfer pole, or oh, sorry, the string uh, when we generate the transfer pole or the spring when we generate the longitudinal pole or the water, the water surface when we generate the compact longitudinal and transverse pole. But there is also the wave that need no medium which we will discuss this in more detail in the physics too. It is the electromagnetic wave. The electromagnetic wave is the wave of E electric electric field and B magnetic field. The source of the electromagnetic wave is a disturbance in the electric and magnetic field and this disturbance can propagate through the empty space and need no medium. Uh, we will not discuss this kind of wave, electromagnetic wave here in this course. Anyway, all kind of wave exhibit some common feature. 
the common feature is that in the wave motion it is the propagation of the disturbance the propagation of the disturbance and we will see also it is the propagation of the energy propagation of the energy in the mechanical wave this is quite obvious you can see that when the wave move through the medium and if you look at some particular you know if you look at a particular point on the medium you can see that before the wave pass to this point the medium is still uh, stay at length but once the wave passed through, you can see that the medium move up and down. So it means that it gained some kinetic energy. It gained some kinetic energy because it's moved up and down. If you place a small piece of plastic or a, a light weight of a of a uh, okay maybe a plastic here and assume this is a water wave you can see that this piece of plastic will move up and down so it means that it gain the kinetic energy when the wave the when the wave pass through also you can see that the medium gain the uh, The potential energy too is gain the kinetic energy and also potential energy because you can see that if the equilibrium the equilibrium level of the medium is this that line when the the wave pass through the medium is lift higher from the equilibrium position so it means that it gained the potential energy too so we can say that the wave motion is the propagation of the energy